Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you my secret, so to speak, to growing peppers. Now there's a thousand ways to feed your pepper plants, but if you want to get really nice production, I'm going to go over the tips and how I basically set up my containers. They vary a little bit year to year depending on what's available, but this is the basic setup. So I like using 10 gallon fabric pots. I sell these at my seed shop. These are root pouches and I put in two plants per container. So that will help you double your yield right there. These are bell peppers, looking pretty good. This is the second harvesting that's coming out of here. And I will do a harvest of all the pepper plants that I'm showing you at the end so you can see what I'm getting. Two jalapenos are in there, loaded. And these are the uh, shishito peppers. Again, two pepper plants in there. Now, when I set up the soil, I basically do a variation of this. Fill the soil, fill the container halfway with soil. This could be a potting mix. If you're getting potting mix, it has fertilizer in it. Don't count that. It's, it's just not enough. It's not what the peppers are going to need to grow. If you're gonna make this, 50% peat moss, 50% earth from your ground. And the whole idea is that you're buying a potting mix, a potting mix, a container mix, or making it yourself with a good amount of peat moss in there. And that's what holds water. If you have compost, you can certainly use that. So when I set this up, Fill the container up halfway. One liberal handful of organic granular fertilizer. I always say stay around a 555. You can be up or down a few numbers. I think this is a 344. And I have a pretty big hand, but about that much goes in there. Now, peppers, once they get started, we're gonna, I'll talk about the fish emulsion I use, the water soluble to really get these going when they're younger. But once they get to about, you know, 18 inches to 24 inches tall, their flowering peppers are producing, you cut back on the nitrogen and you want your soil to be loaded with more potassium, more phosphorus. So I put in a handful of bone meal. That's a two nitrogen, 14 phosphorus. There's um, no potassium in there and there's a lot of calcium. This bone meal will really help with the fruit production of your peppers. And that's sort of the secret. Now, if you're able to, wood ash also has phosphorus, potassium in there. I put a handful of that in there. Everything that pepper needs is now in this lower half of the container. And then I do the same exact thing for the top. It's loaded. Load up the fertilizer, basic organic granular, more bone meal for phosphorus. You can put in uh, wood ash for more uh, potassium and more phosphorus also. You don't have to be exact. That's why I'm not giving you exact numbers. This is just the basic setup. This will be fine. You don't have to get the N, P, and K numbers exactly right. Mix this through. Let me just set up the rest of this pot. Then we're gonna go over to a few more peppers so I can show you how they're growing. These are two sweet banana pepper plants. So I do basically the same thing for pepper plants that are in the ground. But instead of filling the container up, because there's no container here, halfway, and then again, and putting more in, I just kind of dig out a space where the plant's gonna go, throw in a handful of the organic granular, handful of the bone meal. Those are the two most important parts. You wanna get that phosphorus in there from the bone meal. If you have the wood ash, throw it in. Then I mix it through, and I put the plant in there. Over on this side, I have more pepper plants in sunken containers. They're doing really well. This is the second harvest. I'm not sure if there's any more on here. Some of them are coming back for these plants. Two peppers in each of them. And you can just see the peppers are developing nicely. In the sunken container, just FYI, the bottoms are open. And in here, it's just one handful of each of those things too. I really double up in containers that aren't connected to the ground in some way because your plants are gonna suck the life out of container mix, out of your container soil. So you really wanna load it up, in my opinion, with more fertilizer than you're you know, putting into your pepper plants that are growing in the ground. Let me show you one more group of peppers, then we'll go back to the original spot and I'll talk a little bit about using that fish emulsion. These are poblano peppers on the right and those are facing he heaven peppers on the left. These are naturally bigger peppers, peppers, so they're gonna get larger in a container. But again, 10 gallons, the same setup. When you're using the fish emulsion, that's higher in nitrogen, that's a 511 N, P, and K. And you're really feeding the pepper plant when you put them in, you transplant in, give them a nice drink of fish emulsion. If they're struggling, 
in the next two weeks or three weeks, give them the fish emulsion again. If they seem to be growing okay, wait about four weeks or so. You don't need to overdo the nitrogen. And then once they're established, they're growing, they look pretty good, I give them fish emulsion every two to four weeks after that until they're, I don't know, 18 inches, 24 inches tall, and then I cut back on the nitrogen. You just don't want to keep putting nitrogen in there because you're going to get more leaf growth. Just let them use what you've packed into the soil in the way of the phosphorus and the organic granular and they do really, really well. If they yellow a little bit, then you can give them a shot of the um, fish emulsion. This is the second harvest of peppers out of the plants right here in the ones that I showed you. I know that it can be frustrating because people ask me, well, exactly how much nitrogen are you giving them? How much phosphorus? And the reason I don't tell you is because the numbers don't have to be exact. You're basically giving them fish emulsion and the organic granular has nitrogen, nitrogen in there for the first half of their life when you want them to grow, develop leaves, and then you're really packing in the phosphorus with the bone meal and some potassium and phosphorus with the wood ash for the second half of life when they're flowering and fruiting. And you're just making sure these containers are loaded with that because it's self-contained. They can't reach deep into the soil and pull out phosphorus, potassium, and things that they need. So you have to make sure that it's in your container mix. Hope you enjoyed the video. Gives you some confidence on how you can add to your containers and really have nice pepper production over the season. Thanks so much for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.